So Excel for a while has had a way to extract text based on position, like left, right, mid, or based on a character separator, like text before, text after, which is quite a new function. But there comes a limit. For example, what about if there is not a space, but it could be a colon, it could be a comma, it could be a hyphen, or what about if it's before a capital letter? Or if there's a number that's in the text that you want to extract from around that. Or when you've got phone numbers, you want to standardize them. You want to get rid of the spaces or the brackets or something and just put hyphens in between them. Or what about if you've got an email that could be anywhere in the sentence and you just want to extract that email? So brand new this week, Excel has launched these three regex functions, regex test, regex replace, and regex extract. Now we're going to look at these functions here but they are only available in the beta channel of Excel for now. And I actually don't have access to them, but I'm gonna show you how to do pretty much the same thing using Google Sheets, which has had these functions or their equivalents for a while. We're gonna use that in coordination with ChatGBT or Microsoft Copilot to get the coding for us because the coding is pretty complicated. So here's a Code Academy resource, which has regular expressions and simple things that you might need. So Carrot kind of matches the start of text, dollar sign matches the end of text, this matches one character, and there are a bunch, a bunch of things here. I like the slash w one, which matches essentially a word. So it can extract anything that might have a space next to it, might have a hyphen, might have a dot, a comma, things like that. Um, and then boundaries, digits, things like that. These are things that we're gonna see here. But since there is a lot of code and it is very difficult to get to grips with it as you're a beginner, that's why we're going to resort to ChatGPT and Copilot. So here, what I've done is I've saved the Excel file in Google Drive, and it is .xlsx, but you can open up a .xlsx file inside Google Sheets, and then it will remain to keep it as that. Because in my personal Excel, I don't currently have regex yet. So we're going to be looking at it in Google Sheets, but rest assured that everything we do in Google Sheets can be done in Excel for those people that have those functions. The functions are a little bit different, the way they're made up, and I'll talk about that later on. And when you are looking for it in ChatGPT and Copilot, because they've existed in Google Sheets for a while, it will give you slightly more accurate results for now if you say, give me this for Google Sheets. All right, so let's get going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extract everything up till the space, and it could be a space or a comma or a hyphen, etc. So here I am in ChatGPT and I'm using the free version 3.5 and I'm just gonna say, write a Google Sheets formula to extract the first word from a cell I4 using regex and extracts. There you go. And if we look at our formula, it's saying here, this is from the start of the word and it's doing that one. So I can copy the code and let me go into my formula and I've specified the cell. So I'm going to pass control V and it has extracted that one like that. I can drag it down. Now, um, if I look at it, I actually don't need this carrot character because the beginning is implied. So I can actually take that out. And if I wanted to amend that to be the end of the text, what I can do is copy and paste it. And I can just do the dollar sign over here because dollar sign means the end of the text. And I could have asked ChatGPT for that as well and it would have given it to me. All right, so the next one is we're going to ask it to extract only the text and exclude the numbers. So here I'm in copilot.microsoft.com. By the way, the other one is just chatgpt.com. And I'm going to do this using regex by a Google Sheets formula to remove all the numbers from cell A10. Now it's given me this one. And this one isn't actually right. And sometimes with copilot, it doesn't let you copy it well. Let's see what it does. Yeah, so when I paste it, it does that. So I'm going to rewrite it and we'll see what's going on. Equals regex replace. Regex replace is right here. And I'm going to replace that one with the regular expression. It's saying is just D in speech marks and then replacement with double speech marks, which is nothing. But that actually isn't going to work. It's going to replace the letter D. So sometimes these things do make a mistake, but if I do this backslash, then this is actually what I need to do. And now if I drag it down, it will work. Note that it hasn't done anything to Lucy Hand, which didn't have one of those. So it is something to bear in mind. It will always give you the right answer. I've actually found ChatGPT to be more reliable than Copilot, but also ChatGPT does make mistakes as well. 
And it's best to just try it out and also cross-reference it with the uh, code that I gave you earlier to just understand what you're doing. Otherwise, you can do the wrong thing easily. Now, let's do the opposite and extract only the numbers and not the other things. So I'm going to actually copy this and paste it here. And then this is going to extract everything that's not a number. But we're going to actually just replace it by making this an uppercase D. And that will do kind of as we need to. And if I drag this down, that will give me these two errors. The reason why is because it's expected text values, but it's aligned right, which means it's a number value. So if we want to just do that, fix that, all we can do is press ampersand speech box, speech box to just concatenate an empty string to it, and it will just make it into text, and there it will work perfectly well. What we can also do is we can add every three digits, we can add a dash or something like that. So I've actually pre-written these, so I'm just going to paste them here. And with this one, what I've got is this code, which is saying every three digits, give me a dash. And with this one, it's saying not every three digits, but three digits, then three digits, and then four digits afterwards. So let's do one more, which is extracting the email address. Now it can be in the middle, it can be at the beginning, it can be at the end. We just want to get the email address, wherever that may be. So using ChatGPT, write a Google Sheets formula using regex to extract the email address from cell A27. And this one is a lot longer. So let's try a copy code. And then here I'm going to paste it, control V. And it's kind of done it there, which is pretty cool. And then I can drag it down to see if it works. And it has worked quite well. So there you go. Even the complex ones, ChatGPT can sometimes really, really help. Another thing that you can do is you've got a regex match, which in Excel, the equivalent is regex test that we'll see. But you can also say, for example, does this have an email address? So write a Google Sheets formula using regex to test whether cell A27 has a valid email address in it. So now it's got regex match with pretty much the same code. Copy the code here. And here I'm going to paste control V. And it's going to say true. And if I drag it down, it's going to say false underneath. And if I drag down the one that extracts it underneath, it will give me an NA error. So that is regex match. So there are a few subtle differences between the regex functions in Excel and Google Sheets. So in Excel, you have regex test, regex extract, and regex replace. In Google Sheets, you have regex match, extract, and replace. Match is the equivalent. Excel has just decided to call it something different, but there are a few extra inputs in each of them. So regex match is just text and regular expression. Whereas Excel's regex test also has a case sensitivity. The text pattern and regular expression is the same. Then you have regex extract. So the Google Sheets one just has text and regular expression. The Excel one has return mode and case sensitivity. So we know what case sensitivity is. Let's look at what return mode is. So if I was to look here, so zero will return the first string. One will return all strings that match them and they will do that in multiple cells stacked vertically. And number two will return caption groups from the first match as an array. So yeah, they are slightly different and the Excel one can do a bit more. Next, let's look at regex replace. So regex replace in Excel is text pattern replacement, occurrence and case sensitivity. If I do regex replace in Google, it's just text regular expression and replacement. So the first three are the same, except pattern and regular expression mean the same thing. And then you've got the square bracket ones, which are optional in Excel. And that is essentially the same as regex extract, occurrence and case sensitivity. Here's what's cool as well. Regex soon coming to XLOOKUP and XMATCH. So you'll be able to actually return multiple things based on lots and lots of criteria within XLOOKUP and XMATCH. So that's really, really exciting. Instead of a XLOOKUP is a successor to VLOOKUP, and you'll be able to use this kind of code to extract a sequence of things which could be any character, any digit, any text, et cetera, et cetera. Here are some indications that they do, and then how you can get it available to you. It's only available in Excel Insiders at the time I'm making this video. So if you go to File, and then Account, you can see whether you have the beta channel, or whether you have for example, the current channel or the monthly enterprise channel or the semi-annual channel, et cetera. And if you don't have 
Microsoft 365 if you have 2021 and 2019 or something, then you definitely won't see it for now. Even though I do have the beta channel, not everyone in the beta channel has the regex functions yet. They're being released bit by bit to some of the people. So, so my name is David and I'm going to have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets. And if you enjoy that video, then give it a like. And I hope that this will help you with doing some text tricks. Thanks for watching.